There are many reasons for the inability of a significant enough opposition to coalesce against the conspiracy, primary among them being of course the elite control of the media, on all levels. However, the opposition that has been able to form has not been able to blossom into a broader movement, largely because of internal disunity. Part of the reason for this confusion is what appears to be disinformation campaigns to hijack any growing opposition to the conspiracy, as is revealed in the recent six-volume book, Order Ab Cow by David Livingston. The key modus operandi of the conspiracy has been to deploy what he calls a, quote, conspiracy conspiracy. It is a deliberate attempt to cultivate an errant interpretation of the conspiracy to create a controlled opposition of naive dissidents who were ultimately recruited into inadvertently serving the conspiracy. This is by definition what conspirituality is all about. And there are many popular dissident public figures who are most likely involved in this. The reason this happens, as it has happened in history before, is that it is those who are dismayed with the direction our societies have taken tend to become desperate for change, and too ready to throw in their support with anyone who appears to represent their interests. They look at a leader's words, not what they stand for, which makes them easily duped. This is not just happening now, as I have said, but has happened many times before in history. The tactic, you could call it, dates back to at least the Enlightenment and the fomenting of the French and American revolutions by rallying the masses into believing they were fighting, quote, tyranny. In the person of the aristocracy and the Catholic Church, or King George III of England. The same tactic was uh, employed by, for example, by using the cause of communism to channel the Russian people's frustration against the state to bring about the Bolshevik Revolution in 1917. Most importantly, the Nazis made use of the notorious Protocols of Zion, which purported that the Russian Revolution was the outcome of a worldwide Judeo-Masonic conspiracy, something which then popularised to then frighten the Germans into accepting Hitler's fascist dictatorship to prevent the same happenings to their country. This was despite the fact that the Nazis were funded by the same bankers who funded the Bolsheviks. The strategy was first exposed in a dystopian novel 1984, written by George Orwell, a close friend of Aldous Huxley, a leading member of a family intricately tied with the conspiracy, and himself the true architect of the CIA's MKUltra, quote, mind control program. Winston, the main character, meets his superior, an inner party official O'Brien, who presents himself as part of an underground resistance movement known as the Brotherhood, formed by Big Brother's arch-enemy Emmanuel Goldstein. O'Brien gives Winston a copy of Goldstein's book, which reveals the regime's strategy for maintaining power. The book is only used to entrap Winston. When Winston is captured by the Thought Police, it is revealed that O'Brien is one of its agents, and wrote the book collaboratively with other party members.